Right, you lot? Just randomly driving around and I've come across this pretty cool looking little bit of a road. It's not very wet. Everywhere else is drenched because it's been raining a lot. Um, so I thought, let's get this roving buggy thing thingamajig out. Now, <clears throat> the last time I ran this, it was in a lot of dust. And uh, it sucked in a lot of dust, didn't it? So I cleaned all the air filter out and got all that ready to rock and roll. So we'll just give it a run. We've got a nice little bit of thing there. Got another road there, another bit up there. It's a bit windy today. Um, primed it. Let's start it up. Should start up with no choke because it's hot enough. It should just start up with no choke today. Uh. up a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Should be nice. That's Amazon over there, that one. Well, I saw that steering trim out. What's it going all over there for? Still got plenty of power in her, even though she did suck up all that dust. Not a lot of brakes though. One's like a dream. I've got a lot of steering for some reason. Yeah, that dust didn't do any, any harm to that engine at all. Luckily enough, it's fine dust. Might better go and get the screwdriver and do a little bit of adjustment. <clears throat> but I reckon that's running pretty mint to be honest. I, I like I like my takeovers to be quite low in general. Some people like them high. I like them low. That's a good tick over for me, nice and low. I don't like them high. Some people do, but I don't. Nice and low. Who's 
been in the whole time. Oh no, it conked out too low. <laughs> Some of you are going to go, well, I told you. No, you've got to get the balance right, but you don't want it screaming away. It just sounds crap when the tick opens are screaming away. You want them nice and low, nice and low. Because the carburetors on these are mounted upside down, you've got the, um, if you're used to having the, the low speed on the left and the high speed on the right, it's, because they're upside down, it's the opposite, it's a low speed on the right and a high speed on the left, got to remember that. you got to remember that, that was on its peak, that was, that was as good as it was going to get. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't realise. I, I work here. That's all. And I thought I'd just have a quick go before the before I start work. All oh, right. Okay. So, oh, I see what you mean. Right. Okay. No worries, dude. Cheers, bud. Well, there we go. Amazon for you. Can't even do anything outside their grounds, let alone inside. Well, not that I want to go inside, but can't even do anything outside. Well, that's the end of that then. I don't know if you could understand that little Indian bloke. I got I got what he was saying just about, but most of it was a bit of a mumbo jumble. I thought myself, I know what he's trying to say, go away. So he's on about something. Uh, this this road is not for you, he's on about. I was like, okay then. Well, at least I had a good old go. I tried giving it the old, I work here trick. I work here. Open it, go, oh do you? Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. No, 
<laughs> well, at least I had a good old go. I was just about to call it quits anyway, so that's all right. So, at least that runs, that, that now runs like a dream, even though, you know, luckily that dust that we had it, that I had it in a couple of weeks ago, that was, you know, it's, um, very, very fine dust, um, extremely fine dust, and you, you certainly don't want to be breathing it in. <laughs> I mean that's silica dust, that's called silica dust, but because it's so fine, I don't think it's done any damage to that engine at all, I mean when I took the took it apart the other day, I um, don't know if you've seen that video yet, I don't know if I've even edited it, though, let alone uploaded it, but I took it all apart, took the air filter out and everything, and uh, tried to have a look and see, the air filter and the carburetor was cut full of dust, but the engine itself looked in good condition. It didn't seem like any scratches in there or anything like that. So, you know, I reckon we're, we're well all right there. Oh, bloody fence behind me. Oh, modern cars, man, I fucking hate them. I hate them. Well, I don't hate them, I like this one. This is a nice car. It's just a shame it's got all the blipping and blopping and bloody parking sensors and all that. You can turn them off, but they come back on again. Anyway, enough of that. <clears throat> yeah, so it runs like a dream. Happy days, man. I wanted a nice bit of, I wanted either a nice grass field or a nice bit of tarmac to actually give it a proper, give it a natural blast. Because it's all right if you're in like a yard or something somewhere. You can do donuts, you can do things, but you can't have it flat out and see where the spots are on, on the high speed, you know. And I reckon that's pretty good now. It sounds, I, I like the rough sound. It does sound rough. Um, on a high speed, it has a bit of a, but no, I think mean, I like that. I think it's all right. Uh, what a lovely buggy! Them Roven, they can't decide whether they're ro Rovens or Rofuns, can they? Because they've got Roven on one bit, then they've got Rofun on the next bloody bit. Anyway, they're really good. I really are. And it, honestly, if you're thinking about, I ain't sponsored by no one. But I don't know about going to... RC models are a good shop. I can't believe they sell that crap air filter though. I just... You go to an actual shop to buy something good. Yeah, if you want crap, go on eBay or Amazon. Yeah, if you go to an actual shop, an actual physical shop that specialises in whatever the topic is, in this case, RC cars, you would expect something good. You would expect them to have tested it, you know. But that air filter was diabolical. But that doesn't mean that RC Models isn't a good shop. I reckon they probably are a good shop. I've never been there. But that's where you buy them from. Um, if you're looking at getting one of them petrol ones, you know, a, a cheaper version of it, of a pet, you know, the low C5 T's are extortionate, and all the other ones are extortionate. But if you want a petrol RC car, don't go to any other place and get the shit ones. Literally, just go and get one of them Rofe and them Q shorties. Uh, uh, they are. They are the nuts, man, and I, I threw a lot of stuff at that. I mean, uh, people could do worse, and I could do worse. There's people out there that probably really do abuse them really bad. Um, you know, but, man, this that goes over ruts. It's gone off, off the end of bloody cliffs up there. We saw it. Oh, I don't know if you saw it or not. I was filming. don't know if I put it in the video or not, but there's a cliff over there that I jumped it off of. Um, there's the big heaps of dirt. Now, it just... It takes everything that I threw at it, and it's brilliant. So, proper good little buggy um, for the price of it, you know. I paid the same amount of money as what that costs to get that. Those of you that have been around on this channel now for a few years will remember when I went to Nitro Tech, god awful Nitro Tech, and I bought that Awawi or whatever it was. What a load of crap! Yeah, absolute. That is the most worst thought out. RC car I've ever seen them, them ones and that was the same amount of money as this Roven Q shorty was, was. but unbelievable <laughs> anyway I'll catch you a lot later on thanks for sticking around and uh, at least we might at least I managed to get a bit of a run in don't know how many minutes that was probably at least sort of five six minutes maybe even seven minutes I suppose of running that and I'm happy and um, before the little Indian bloke come out so perfect i'll catch you lot on the next one all the best treat each other equally just love life and we'll all have a nice happy life we know the way it works by now see you later oh by the way it's friday <laughs>